Hi guys, I'm finally back with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while. I went away for Christmas with my family and just haven't been able to do any videos for you guys. But this is actually a video that I filmed before I left and I did show this page in my December daily flip through, the last one that I did. And I didn't get around to getting the the process video up in time before we left so I'm finally doing it today. So this is a page I did that documents the presents that my kids were getting for Christmas this year both from us and from Santa. So um, I, I've got a picture of all of my presents ready that I know the kids are getting and I've just cut them out. I've already cut some out beforehand and I just sped that up because it took me forever <laughs> to cut those out. So just cut them all out. They're not to scale or anything. Uh, I got some of the pictures off the internet and some just from listings of buying them online and now I'm just fiddling around with how I'm going to put them onto a page. So I do have an idea of how I want to do it which is hiding the presents behind a stocking, which you can see there that I painted, and a present die cut that I had. So that they're still a little bit hidden, but just documents um, what they're getting this year or last year now. <laughs> but yeah, so what I'm doing here is just fiddling around a little bit, and I do that for a while, so I've sped it up for you guys. And all I'm trying to do is work out whether all of those tiny little bits and pieces are going to fit because there is a lot of small pieces to work with and yes there is an ant on my table <laughs> if you saw that we get so many so 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 many ants where we're living it's ridiculous like they get into your car they get into your house they're just everywhere but anyway off topic so I'm using double sided tape to stick everything down I've done that throughout my entire book I've just found that that's the quickest way I would have probably liked to use a glue stick but I, had, I hadn't had one so I just used double sided tape that I already had and I just covered that plain white background with some wrapping paper from leftover from wrapping presents for the kids because I just think that's a cool little piece to document and it also just dresses up that plain white page in the background and then just added a little bit of washi tape to decorate the edges. And now I'm going to add in those, um, the die of the present and the stocking kind of, it's kind of like a die as well, but I made it. So I just made it like a little flap so that you can open and close it and see behind it. And just attached both of those with washi tape like always. So just making sure that I've got lots of hinges on that one because I really wanted to make sure that it was stuck in well. It was kind of an odd shaped tip in as people call them. So I added a couple of extra hinges on both sides of it. And then I think after that I'm just going to start fiddling around with those present. Nope. Okay, not yet. Sorry guys, so it's been a while since I've done this page. Okay, so every single day in my December daily, I've done this tag thing that has the date and I also stamp on the, the day of the week and the weather with some stamps by Tiny Stamps Big Plants. So I've got that ready to go and then I'm just trying to work out how I can make extra um, space to add in those photos those photos of the presents because I know that I have quite a few and I'm doing that just by adding a extra little journal card which is actually a vintage tally card that I was gifted and I'm using a project life card which I cut down to create a pocket that I can tuck that into and that just kind of gives me like a little bit of extra real estate if, if I can say that to work with and just give me a little bit extra room that I need to make sure that everything is going to fit. So um, I hid that in again behind the present die cut so that it's still hidden away in there and all behind the same um, flap. And then now I'm getting my little 
pictures and trying to figure out where they're going to fit. So again, I fiddled around with this for a long time because it was kind of difficult. I do like to sometimes lay out where things are going to go, especially when I'm not sure. Um, and for this page in particular, because I had so many little tiny pieces, but so so many of them I just wanted to try and make sure that things were actually going to fit before I stuck them down and in the end I kind of find that difficult anyway and just started sticking things down because everything was moving around the page my book's so chunky that everything was just falling off anyway and it was a bit hard to see where things were going to go and I think that even if I did put them exactly where I wanted them to go they wouldn't have ended up there anyway because, as I said, there's just so many pieces and it's just impossible to get them all in the same place that I laid them out. So um, in a moment I'll be using double-sided tape again to start sticking those down. And I started off with the little tally card which I'm using to stick on a big bulk of the presents, um, the present photos onto. And so this was a good little card to use for this because you could open it up and use the whole inside spread to stick pictures down and then I could also use the back of it. So it did help me get a lot of those pictures down. So fuss around this, fuss around this, fuss around with this for quite a while and yeah finally start to get things to fit the way that I like eventually so I did really really want to get this video up for you guys before I went away and I'm so sorry feels like it's been a long time since I put a video up but just it's just been impossible and while we've been away so much has been happening so many unplanned things have been happening and it's just been extremely difficult to even be online really like even on Instagram and stuff but I do have some videos coming up for you guys soon and then at the end of this month I am going away again just for another one week because my sister is getting married so after that sort of early February my videos should start to regulate a little bit again So now I'm just starting to kind of figure out where the rest of those pictures are going to go. I put all of the small stocking presents that are actually going to go in or were actually going to go into my kids' stockings behind the stocking flap and then all of the larger presents that wouldn't fit in a stocking I put behind the present. And um, yeah, so I really wanted to do this page just because I had this idea and I thought it would be really fun and we all know that Christmas isn't about presents so this isn't an important thing to document or anything like that but it was just something fun that I wanted to do and um, like a little prompt for a page because um, every single day of our December was not Christmassy or exciting so little prompts like this I found really good to fill out those days that maybe not so much was going on so finishing that off I think and now I'm working on I can see my son's hands poking over the side there I, I quickly hid the presents underneath the flaps when he came in he was playing with my washi tapes so now I'm using my stamps by Tiny Stamps Big Plans on my little date tag thing that I've done every day and I'm just going to stick that down with double sided tape like always and um, start adding a couple of other things to the page after that. So next I wanted to add a little bit of extra space where I could write and I think I wanted to add a little bit of extra space to add my daily book because we did read a Christmas story every single day in December. So I added this Project Life card and actually when I put this down I didn't realise that I was actually making a mistake in that it wasn't going to be a functional tip in because it was stuck behind the, um, the stocking flap which you'll see in a minute and I do end up having to change that because it doesn't work 
which it was an easy fix luckily because washi tape is repositionable luckily for me and you can see me fiddling with it there thinking what the hell <laughs> where, where can I put this it's not gonna work and I end up just changing it and sticking it from the top instead and then it turns into like a little a little card that you have to slide in behind rather than just fold out and underneath there gives me that little bit of extra space to add a photo and also my book of the day and I did film this earlier on in the day so I don't have the book ready to stick in yet because at that stage I didn't know what book we were going to read but I do leave that space blank for that specifically and towards the end of my spreads I always was putting my little embellishments on last just adding in little bits and pieces on all the little blank spaces though I feel like this page didn't necessarily need any embellishments because there was a lot going on already but I knew that I had some um, present themed embellishments that I did want to use for this page so how many of you are still catching up on your December daily from 2016? I've just or almost finished mine. Had to catch up when we got back from Christmas, our Christmas holiday visiting family. So I did film the process as well for that. And I will be sharing my little catch up with you guys soon. So that should be up within the next few days as well. So adding the last couple of little things onto the page, this little Santa which I 